Hey everybody, welcome back to Here's an Idea, a minute and a half or so of Marketing Insight. I'm Hal Bryce. The Nielsen Company has been determining how many people are watching shows on television for about 50 years, since really the dawn of television. Nielsen has been really the go-to source to determine ratings, which in turn determine how much advertisers can charge for ads on those programs. It's very complex. Now, we've got about 300 and what, 30 million people in uh, the United States. About 37,000 of them are Nielsen families. I started getting letters about uh, a month ago from Nielsen saying they'd like for me to be a Nielsen family. I thought, well, I'm in the advertising business. That's not going to work. But they wouldn't stop. I mean, I got questionnaires. I got letters. Here's some advice for you. If you get a letter from Nielsen, don't answer it right away. Because if you hold out, my gosh, look at all the stuff you'll get. You'll get money, and you could even get an orchid. Uh, one of my neighbors came over and said, some lady from Nielsen was looking for you. They were actually in my neighborhood looking for me. They really wanted to talk to me. And then uh, I got this beautiful orchid with this beautiful handwritten note saying, please, you're the only address that has been chosen in this community. You are very important to us. I would very much value a few minutes of your time. So let's see what she has to say. So what, what does this involve? This would involve a meter in your television viewing that you do in your home and on each you would get a separate remote control and it will list um, all the people in your home by starting with the youngest to the oldest. Oh, when they turn it on, they have to they enter their number and then it's it's registering them as viewing it based on their age and all that stuff, huh? Exactly, and it'll come mm. up with your name and it will also say, are you watching or listening? So could I crush or boost a television show all by myself? Then I mean, how many how many of there are how how many of me are there out there? Um, in all of the Los Angeles markets, there's only 1,300 homes, and that includes Ventura, Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino County. So we are not kidding when we say you represent about 45. So I could crush a show I didn't like, couldn't I? It's super fascinating, isn't it? Wow. Oh, my gosh. It's a tough job because there's 6,000 channels and 60 billion shows. I don't even know how it would... Uh it would all make sense because I don't watch TV that much. Sure. What about DVRing stuff? I do use DVR. It's some of the series that we watch, we time shift it and don't watch it on the day it's broadcast. Does that still work? Yes. Um, and the signal isn't sent until you view the show. Oh, that is fascinating. And I forgot to ask, do I get compensation? Do I get paid for this? Or is it just a patriotic duty thing? No, small amount. Oh. I'll tell you the reason I didn't re reply, honestly, the first couple of times is you started getting really serious and wrote me a handwritten note was, you know, we're marketers. So you do this. Right. And I've been in the advertising business for about 25 years. So I, you know, have purchased a lot of TV time over those years. And I make TV, we've done over 7,000 TV commercials. So is that going to have an impact on my ability to participate? Um, I would have to check. All right. Well, you find out and then uh, I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks, Heidi. Now, there are a few reasons why I don't think I would ever want to be a member of the Nielsen family. Because, number one, I think it would be very stressful. I feel like every time I'd watch a show or not watch a show, I'd hold the show in my hands. You know, there's only 1,300 of us in Southern California who are deciding what goes and what stays. Number two, do you really want your digital information about what you're watching being transmitted across the Internet? I'm sure they would tell you that it's anonymous and that no one sees it and it's just aggregated into a pile. But are we really confident that that is true? I'm not sure. Number three, I work in advertising. Not that I would try and manipulate it, but I think someone could call that into question at some point, right? Anyway, how to be a Nielsen family in one easy step. That's Here's an Idea. I'm Hal Bryce.